topic today. Glory be to God, the Father, who wishes always his children success. Joy Esanyu. will never come without success. Jubilation Okujaganya. will never be there. Congratulations. Congs without success. And success will never come without a trial. Mark these words. Whatever you are claiming, I believe. I believe, oh Lord. Oh, that is good. But isn't the best. How many believers do you have? Yes. All this will work. But a testimony will never appear and it will never be given by somebody who has not sat a test or somebody who hasn't been tested. Write our testimony. Write the word test. test. Management. Management. Somebody to stand and give a testimony means he is now telling you how he managed his test. The situation before you is not a curse. If you claim you are a believer, what do you believe? God loves me. He has power. He has ability. You must prove this. I'm reading Mark 4 from verse 35. On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the matthew, they took him along in the boat as he was. And another little boat were also with him. And the great when the storm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? After preaching, teaching to them, they were to be tested. As you can go to a driving school, to learn driving. The teacher sit here and you sit here in front. That is why Jesus was in the boat. And he took a snap uh, to see whether they have understood the message <coughs> he has been preaching to them. Whether they understood the teachings whether they are able to use the faith they claim. Our oh, master, we believe you. <coughs> what do you believe in me? Their claim was that they had faith in him. And he had told them with this faith you can move mountains. Known that he didn't know that where they are, they are going to the lake that they will be 
a storm. It was in the evening. And he knew as Jesus, the son of God. That there will be a storm. He wanted them to use their faith. The faith they have in him. But he said, no! Oh, where are you? Where are you? After commanding the storm, the sea to come down, he said, but where is your faith? I've been teaching you. Do you really believe that God can do this? Why did you shout? A testimony means test management. You are telling us how you managed your test. I believe Jesus is my savior. There must be a test. To prove whether you believe. Do you believe? Yes, yes, yes. But now here you are. Man of God. I have many problems. And you want man of God to cry with you? No way. Which manager of a football team? Manager chi what team you who can train them for a year and doesn't bring to them another challenging team to see how strong the team is whether they have learned the training. Jesus loves you. He has been training you. He wants to see how far you have gone. Do you really believe Do you really have faith from all whatever you believed? Do you really trust him? Do you really believe he has power? And remember, this football team, it shouldn't be that you know the, the members who are playing the opposite side. They train themselves in their own way. Once they're in the football field, it is the first day to see them. And remember, you are 11, and they are 11. Highly trained. The moment you have the ball, somebody should attack you. When you leave him, another one must attack you. When you leave him, another one should attack you. Until when you reach the goal. But when you are about to score, others come other push you down. Doesn't mean that your trainer doesn't want you to score. Doesn't mean that to bring an opposite team, he doesn't love you. As much as Uganda and Kenya love each other, Uganda has its own team. Uganda ina team yayo, football team. team yo yayo. And Kenya has its own football Kenya team. E ina team yo yayo. And Kenya cannot claim an international victory when it cannot 
play with the Uganda team. When it is still in Kenya playing the Kenya teams, the trainers are Kenyan, the trainers are Kenyan, what is it? Until when it faces Uganda team, the team has never known with 11 players and win it, that is when it will claim victory. Remember, in the football match, there isn't one player. After this so-called problem, another problem will come. Another will come. Another will come. Another will come. Until to the 11th, that what you are claiming faith must be tested. Otherwise, you are lying to your master that you believe him. You are lying, you are deceiving Jesus that you have faith in him. If you avoid the test, you are a big liar. You are too bad. Sit your test. As you are asking questions, can Jesus do this? He is also testing you whether you believe that he can do it. I will see whether uh, him too is looking at you. I will see what he has been claiming for years. That is a Christian. Whether he believes those words. Whatever you have been claiming all along, you are in the ring now. Tell neighbor, I'm in the ring today. Time has come to be tested. But I know my master is wishing me well for success. He cannot test me without success. And remember that this test, this trial, it is for your promotion. It isn't that God doesn't love you. It is for your promotion. How can he promote you without testing you? You import a vehicle from Japan and it has never been tested by the Japanese. They test it on the mountain, on the hills, to export it. You want to be promoted? You avoid the test. If you don't want to be tried, never, never wish yourself a promotion. Whatever you need as for this test, whether wisdom, whether knowledge, whether understanding, he would just do it. 14, 13 of John. And whatever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. He has promised to provide you wisdom, knowledge, understanding that you may pass this test, that he may promote you. Such a weak believer who avoid to be tested. And you say you claim you're a believer. What? He has provided us faith. And he said, the opposite team, the team where you have which has been presented, and its players, I defeated them 2,000 years ago. 
When we see Jesus with the ball, on this side, and the Satan on the other side, he said, I defeated their captain, I defeated him. His players, I defeated them. But he wants you to experience the same success, the same victory that you may feel the joy in him. Matthew 4, 1, verse 1. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights afterwards, he was hungry. Now, when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. One. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That is the first mark. 100% Jesus scored. Glory be to God. The tempter came again. Not one time. Verse 5. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angel charge over you, and in their hand they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, it is written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Another mark. Hundred percent. More than hundred. Thou shall not tempt the Lord your God. Listen to the question. If you are the son of God. He wanted to know that does he know? If you are the son of God, throw yourself down. Because he was a son of God, he proved to him, yes, don't try, don't tempt the Lord your God. You are just a creature. I'm a God. Verse 8. Again the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all the things I'll give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. <laughs> Verse 11. Then the devil left him and behold, angels came and ministered to him. I was standing in Amuleka, Lava, but Malaika never cheer, never more. Known that Jesus is not there, is not seeing you in that situation. But he's watching you. Or oh, whatever you have been claiming, I love you. You are my savior. You are my healer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then now, today the leg is pain. Do you believe that is your healer? Oh God, I've never seen it. This is a problem. Who has ever seen the opposite team? Problem to problem. A player to a player. No, because your team manager doesn't love you. But the moment you have a ball, the opposite team must come. The moment you have faith, the situation to test man's come. So that you don't throw away your faith. And you don't rest your faith. Let your faith work. Jesus told the woman, your faith has healed you. Because he didn't know that the woman is healed. Your faith has healed you. You have known that in my garment there is power. 
It is not an empty garment. But you are here. Whether well, this man is a magician. <laughs> you, as much as you are asking all those questions, you are being tested. Is this a believer? Or is not a believer? What does he believe? What is he saying? This man, I, I think he has a witchcraft. Mm, this man is not a believer. He thinks always in witchcraft. For 23 Matthew, and Jesus went about all teaching in their synagogue, preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptic and paralytic. He healed them. Great martyrs followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond Judah. Yes, <laughs> Nobuna fubo na mubantu. Ebi gamba vye. Nibi muna obusuli vwo na. Nibi mule tira vwo na. Avali balu ade. Avali baku atitua enduwa dezitali zimu. Nabe bibo nyobo nyo. Nabe mizimu. Nabe nsimu. Nabali baku zimbye. Nabe unya vwo na. Luke 10.19. They said, you believers. Ela ya ganti mwa bakiriza. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Believers are meant to walk over serpents and scorpions. Are you a believer? Wait your way, there will be a scorpion. Because you believe Jesus has power. And he has allowed you to use his power. And this is how the non-believers will believe Jesus. Seeing you stepping on the scorpion. Hallelujah. So, I wish you well. You are the winner today. 